It's game time in Philadelphia as the crowds at Wells Fargo Center look to cheer on the 76ers. After this one game on the road, the Raptors will head back to Toronto. And of course, Nene, he's growing with his team, getting more comfortable every day. That trade is something that has the staff, players, and fans excited. They think it may be the piece of the puzzle necessary to get over the proverbial hurdle. Some changes for Toronto. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. So for Toronto right now, Ostrovsky, he's in at three. Bismack Biambo is out there with Damari Carroll. Then it's Corey Joseph, and it's Powell in at the two spot. And if the shot's not there, you've got to understand that move the basketball. Yeah, exactly, and I'm not quite sure what his mindset or what he was thinking there. I mean, that was just a terrible shot. Thompson outside, and there's the feed to Okafor. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Okafor's got his second bucket of the night. Raptors leading by three. There's the screen. Joseph with the ball. Now Okafor defending. Passes it to Maverick. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Five on the clock. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It's going to be on Nerlens Noel. For Toronto, they have made one of three free throws in the game. First one falls for him. And so he hits both. 139 left to play in the first quarter. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. I was able to catch up with the head coach of the 76ers. He knows they've got to really dig in defensively, facing a very talented offense. He said, if you let them get going, they can run off a big lead and really put you behind the eight ball. We've got to be disciplined, work together, and be prepared to make second, third, and fourth efforts. Whatever it takes to get a stop, that's what we'll have to do. Kevin, we'll see if they can get a win in this, their first matchup of the season. Okay, Doris, appreciate the report and coaches playing here tonight. A good one, guys. And I agree with him. I think he's determined not to let the opposing offense dictate tempo. And I think that is a good game plan. That's the only plan, really, Greg and, and Kevin. I mean, they cannot allow that offense to run wild. This game has to be played on their terms. Raptors with the lead. There's a screen. And the pass to Maverick. Again, Toronto. 40 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Weber kicks to Noel. Dishes to Weber. Feeds to Covington. From 17 feet out, they get it back, and Embiid throws it down. This guy is a beast on the board. And when he gets those second chance points, G.A., he does not waste one of them. And you know what? It's always going to be a powerhouse finish with him. We know that for sure. Pretty, pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. Now, here is Weber. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Covington. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. Yeah, really left him no choice there, Greg. He had the foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Yeah, 76% from the line a season ago. And most would consider that to be a success. Here's Joseph. Three-pointer. Oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! What a three at the horn as they end the quarter on a high note. Couldn't agree more. That'll give him a nice little lift. I think going into the next quarter. And a chance now to hear from the Brazilian big man, Nene, about the development of this Wizards team. Nene in the mix, that team is indeed capable and talented and can do some very special things. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he's in a supporting role.
And the Raptors going out now with a whole new group. The 76ers trail by nine. So for Toronto right now, Ostrovsky in its small forward. Powell is out there with Corey Joseph. And there's Bismack Biambo. And it's Carroll in at the four slot. Thompson in the corner. And it takes a hard bounce. The Raptors have gone five of seven from the field here in the second. There's the screen. And Joseph gets to Biambo. Pops loose off the pick and hammers it home. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and <laughs> sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. Here's Joseph, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Joseph's got five points so far. And here's Weber. The screen from Thompson. Pass to McLeod. Let's it go from 14. Good, and Weber gets the assist. Eight points for him. Raptors leading by 11. Here's Biombo. And he goes in for the dunk. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh. hammering down with the two-handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk like that. For Philadelphia, they've gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Uh, over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. No luck. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Their last game, a win against Boston. Looking to carry it into this one. How about the energy level the defensively Stick in that game? Heart. I mean, they made finding an open shot a very difficult task for their opponents. And it wasn't just in the half court. I mean, I thought they were excellent in transition defense as well. They didn't give up any easy baskets because they always had good floor balance and got back after the miss. Here's Thompson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Out left to the wing. A three ball. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range. He's one for five. And Toronto has possession. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. Yeah, and they came out with a W every time they played this squad last year. A stark contrast drawn between the conference's haves and have-nots. Guys, they deserve a lot of credit for not losing focus and letting one slip away. And they came to play every time, and I expect that'll be the case tonight. That'll do it for the first half. It's the Raptors up by 15. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. now it's been a one team show so far we'll see if that changes here in the third one of the stories here Kyle Lowry getting it done today I just love the tenacity on the defensive side I mean Noel's checked in for Okafor Nene comes in for Carl Landry Jeremy Grant he's checked in for Thompson and Robert Covington subbed in for Weber Biombo is checked in for Toronto Maverick comes in for Patrick Patterson they've got Noel Nene is out there with Grant. Then it's Robert Covington, and it's McLeod. And up the two. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And it's Lowry penetrating. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. Lowry's got six here in this quarter. It's stolen by Lowry. You know, here we go, Lowry, nobody back. Plays it in off the breakaway. Despite the troubles he had in the first half, he stayed composed and focused, and now he's getting it going. 4-3, Covington, no good. And Toronto will go the other way with it. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost. And it's DeRozan missing. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Noel. 
While there's a break in the action, let's take a look at the players who had the most steals in the league last season. Fourth, Kyle Lowry. Two words for you about this guy. Fast hand. He was able to come away with the ball a lot last season. He found a way always. And the Raptors making a change here. Joseph's checked in. DeRozan passes to Maverick. The baseline jumper goes down. Maverick's got eight points. 112 left to play here in the third. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Now the dish to Nene. The Umbo with the block. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around straight bully ball. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Toronto. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. Joseph, the pass to Matthew. No dice from the high post. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Shot and game clock separated by five. There's a screen by Noel. Shot clock at six. And here's Covington from the arc. Tries to save it. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. With one on the clock, can't connect. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. The Raptors out in front, delivering the blowout. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. Toronto's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. So for Toronto right now, Ostrovsky in at ball. the three. Stick Patterson the is the four with Valanchunas in the middle. Corey Joseph is out there with Lowry. Boy, that mid-range jumper is a beautiful thing to have in your bag, and they've had it going today. And some say it's a lost art, a but they're getting excellent results with it tonight. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Lowry against Weber. Embiid with a screen on Lowry. Weber dishes to Embiid. And a great assist by Weber as that one goes in. Weber's got six assists here tonight. Now that's where you'd like your shots to come from. Lowry kicks to Valanciunas. Again, Toronto. Kyle Lowry with a beautiful setup. 76ers shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Now Weber kicks it to Embiid. Here's Okafor. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Some outstanding numbers in this one for Okafor. He's got 10 points and two blocks. I tell you what, he's made his mark on this game in so many ways, guys. And, and he would have stood out. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth. Passes it to Maverick. Inside to the wing on the left. The 11-footer. It falls. I don't want to say they're trying to run up the score here, but they do keep adding to the lead. Well, I know you don't want to say it, but I will, partner. I mean, they're trying to run the score up here. It's plain and simple. They're trying to throw we'll salt the all in tonight. that room. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. A resounding victory for them.
and Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. Now we'll go to the studio.